Good afternoon. Thank you all for coming. Uh, my name is Holly Morrison. I'm the president of the El Dorado Dog Owners Guild. And hearing these stories, you have to wonder why would anybody do this for eight years? <laughs> it's been a long eight years. Um, but the reason is that um, having come from San Francisco, my last pup had, uh, had gone over the Rainbow Bridge and coming up here and having a home, I was able to get dogs again. And I knew I wanted a rescue dog and I knew I wanted black and I knew I wanted a female and I knew I wanted Labrador retrievers. And I went to the rescue and not only was there one, but there were two and they were sisters my shadows you've seen them <laughs> and unfortunately we break the law a lot because they've come here for 10 years we've come to this park three four times three or four times a week for the last 10 years um my girls um didn't know how to be didn't know how to be dogs they were bought to be bred uh brought into a household with about 10 other adult male dogs waiting for my little underage girls uh, to be bred. And so I was able to rescue them. And as you know, those of you who have done that, they turn around and rescue you right back. Um, they are going to be 11 years old here in a couple of days. And um, they're not very well. So this is very bittersweet. But to be able to be here with them today and all of these amazing creatures as our family, um, it's, it's thrilling. Uh, let's see here. Um, one of the ideas um, that I wanted to bring to the group was the whole idea about the bricks. I'd worked for the San Francisco Giants and as a charter seat holder, when we were building the ballpark, they offered season ticket holders the opportunity to buy commemorative bricks. So that's where the idea came from. And really, if you've seen these bricks, it's a very uh, minimum, minimal investment that'll help us get a water fountain. It's gonna be 110 degrees here soon. We do need park benches. So please, you know, go in with a couple of people and um, see if you can come up with the donation to continue um, allowing us to improve the park. Um, as you've heard, there were many volunteers, many board members, um, major, major donors. Um, we, as you've heard, we thank the uh, Community Service District for the land. Um, we also want to thank um, Jeff Lee and the Lee family of Lee's Feed, they donated $5,000. We got $5,000 in Quimby funds, which are development funds that are sitting and waiting for communities to use for park improvement. Um, we got a $1,000 donation from the Fred B. Runyon Foundation and in sending them another thank you letter and asking them what they wanted to have on their brick, they sent us another $3,000 last week, which is gonna go toward the purchase of a water fountain. That was a surprise. Um, we have Joanne uh, Blossom and Robert Halton here today who uh, donated $1,000. Um, a friend of mine and his wife donated 1000 and it just, it's just been remarkable. Eden, who is here taking photographs, donated $750. Um, that we did a one for two match and we have closed that uh, that fundraising out and we've we've met that goal. Um, we want to really just thank the community service district. The relationship between us has been fantastic. Um, Tina Helm, the recreation supervisor who has allowed us uh, with the CSD to do our wine tastings at all of her recreation events. Um, JR, Mark, Craig, Lewis, Larry, Nick, all of the staff, and in particular, Paul Ryan, the park superintendent, who I consider to be a friend. Uh, with, without his guidance, his knowledge, and his friendship, this project wouldn't have been any fun at all. Um, 
nor as successful. This community really owes him our respect and admiration for his management skills. His staff love him, we love him, and it's, it's just been a tremendous relationship. So thank you, Paul and crew. Um, in December, at a, uh, at a CSD board meeting, um, the district presented us with this beautiful uh, plaque uh, in recognition of all of the um, work that we put into building the park. And I would like to today give back a little something that I had um, Mary Cahill and Tina Helm helped me with. And this is um, a copy of a certificate, a commemorative plaque from the CSD. And if I call people, would you please come up? Uh, Gary Ellis, Sue Hawks, Karen Ellis, <laughs> and Scott Gross. I believe is here today, Mr. Gross. <laughs> and Lynn Morris. Uh, Scott, uh, Karen and Gary, um, again, as co-founders, Karen was our secretary for years. Gary's been, I think, almost every position. Scott was our treasurer and is our director. Um, Lynn is our logistics chair and worked very closely with Paul and the park staff. Lynn um, was out here early this morning. Coming. Is she coming? Uh, Marie Halverson is our volunteer chair. Miss Lynn Morris, I see. Uh, Miss Marie Halverson, please come up. Deborah Silverberg is our secretary. And Judy Merton is our fundraising chair. Right here. Thank you. Miss Merton. Miss Merton is back there with the kissing booth. Don't miss that. <laughs> so really a round of applause. There's a whole herd and pack of people who helped. But uh, this is really the core group that hung in there for so many years. Um, and we also want to give special thanks to Brad Brook, um, a future board member, we hope. Um, and friends of El Dorado Dog Owners Guild, uh, Gerald and Elaine Lilpop, and Bill and Jean Carey, who have worked with us at many of our events. So thank you very much. There's Mr. Lilpop, and where did the Carey? The Careys are here. Um, and just really remember that we're just citizens and dog owners, and we just, we had a need, and um, it's a lot of work, but you know, all you can do is smile when you come here. It's it's just such a wonderful place to be. And the time and energy that were, don were donated um, were really a labor of love. So what I'd like to do now is hand back this plaque to uh, Mary and Vicki and ask that it be um, put up at the community center for the whole community to, to see. Um, and really just for all of us to remember that the responsibility of, of this park belongs to we as dog owners and to continue to do the right thing and speak up and um, carry a bag with you at all times. You know, there are te you, don't you find them in the craziest places when you're getting ready to put your pajamas on? They're in every pocket, you know. Um, and really, the opportunity right now is really for the Dog Owners Guild to hand off the park to the community. And thank you for your support. And I hope that you come to love this park as much as uh, my pups and I do. Thank you. Yeah, we'll do that in a minute. Um, I'd like Holly to stay here for a minute. <laughs> um, Mary found my word, or used my word, and that's passion. And no one has more passion for this project than Holly Morrison. Um, there are so many people to thank over eight years. I've only been with these guys for two years. But they, 
they've been through thick and thin, um, working so hard on this, and all you wonderful volunteers and donors, um, you're also very special, and we're also very grateful. But nobody, um, I don't think we can match Holly's passion for this project, and she has worked so hard, and we're so incredibly grateful. And as a um, gesture of recognition, this yellow rose bush is oh, for you. <laughs> and I hope every time it blooms in the spring that Holly will remember this wonderful occasion. Thank you all for coming. We really appreciate it. I had said to her when we were standing over here, I said, you know, I think our mothers are in this bush. Um, both our mothers were gardeners and everything they touched bloomed. So thank you. Thank you.